Hello everybody, it's Sarah and as you can probably tell from all the empty spaces on my shelves today is the second video of my year-end videos where I talk about all the series that I have on my shelves. I have already talked about all the unfinished series on my shelves, you can find the video down below and up there. So today it is time to talk about all the finished series on my shelves. Not just the series that I finished this year, but also that I had already finished last year and earlier. So yeah, the way we'll do this is I will first tell you about the series that I had already finished at the start of the year, then I will tell you about the series that I finished during the year, and lastly I will tell you about the series that I started and finished this year. And so yeah, let's get into it because we have quite a few series to get through. 59 in total actually. At the beginning of the year I had 45 series finished, now I have 59, so I gotta say I am quite happy with that. Let's get into it. By the way, aside from the order that I just told you about, I will not have an order in this. I tried to keep the series by the same author together, that didn't work out, so you know, you might find some Robin Hobb at the very beginning of this video and some a little bit later. We'll see how it is. But the first series that I picked up is The Blood of the Stars by Elizabeth Lim. This series is a duology. Next I have a series that I don't know if there's an official series name. It's a duology and it consists of Kumiho Wicked Fox and Tokkebi Vicious Spirits. And this duology is by Kat Jo. Next I have the Farsia trilogy by Robin Hobb. This is the first series in her Realms of the Elderlings series of series, <laughs> kind of. It's one of the trilogies and yeah i'm going to be rereading this in 2022. moving on i have the kushiel's dart trilogy or Phaedrus trilogy i'm not sure what it's called exactly i think kushiel's dart is like once again this is a series of series so whatever it's by jacqueline carey and i am currently rereading the third book as you might know. I have here Rhiannon's Ride by Kate Forsyth. This is another YA trilogy that I read ages ago. I have the Spook Squad trilogy by Carrie Arthur. This one is another series that I read ages ago, that so long ago in fact that I can't even remember when I read it. I think I was 13 or something when I read those. Another series by Carrie Arthur that I finished and that I kept is the Riley Jensen Guardian series. This is a bit longer than a trilogy. I think it's a total of nine books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine books. Another YA duology is the Rune Light Rune Marks duology by Joanne M. Harris. And kind of connected to that is also the Loki duology, also by Joanne M. Harris, obviously. I have the Second Sons trilogy by Jennifer Fallon. This one is also one that I read when I was 13, I believe. I have the Ephemera trilogy duology series. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's like a duology plus spin-off, although I can't find my copy of Belladonna right now, which, you know, is concerning because it was on my TBR this year. So not this year, this month. I think might have put it in one of my bags to read on public transport or something. We'll see. I hopefully find it. <laughs> I also have the Tura Lane trilogy by Anne Bishop and the other two series by Anne Bishop are now no longer on my finished series shelf, not, well, list. That's what I meant. Continuing on with my last two finished Robin Hobb series, I have the Life Ship Traders and then also the Tawny Man trilogy. Another duology I finished was the Dreamblood duology by N.K. Jemisin. Moving on from trilogies and duologies, I have the Tide Lords Quartet by Jennifer Fallon. Since I actually did stack Jennifer Fallon's books together, I also have the Demon Child trilogy and also the Wolf Blade trilogy or the Hydron Chronicles. I have seen the series titled as both. Sometimes I have seen the Hydron Chronicles used as a name for, you know, both the Wolf Blade trilogy as well as the Demon Child trilogy. However, that does not make sense to me because the Demon Child trilogy, for the most part, isn't even set in Hydra, which is a country in this world. So, you know, just naming conventions, I guess. I have, I think, only one German series finished on my shelves, and that is, of course, the Ink Heart trilogy by Cornelia Funke. Moving on to some Juliet Marillier, I have 
the Wildwood Dancing Duology, and then also the six books of the Seven Watchers series. I started and finished Historic Materials by Philip Pillman. Philip Pillman? Philip Pullman a few years ago. Oh my god, it's way too late for this. Staying with middle grade, I have of course the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Warden. I in fact decided to get rid of the Heroes of Olympus series even though I have also finished that. And so now I decided to only keep Percy Jackson. And then I also have the Bartimaeus sequence by Jonathan Strout. I lent out the first book, so I don't have that here right now. A series I finished recently, in fact last year, 2020, was the Bring Me Their Hearts series by Sarah Wolf. And then contrary to that, a few series that I finished indeed very long ago are the three trilogies within the Emerged World series. They are originally in Italian. I am once again too lazy to look up the exact English titles, so I only know the ones from the first trilogy, which is the Chronicles of the Emerged World, and as you can see, they are quite well loved, because for a hardcover to look like this, you gotta read it a lot. And then, as I said, I also read the other two trilogies in this world, and all three of them are written by Ligia Toisi, which I forgot got to mention her name, I think. But as I said, I don't know what these two trilogies are called in English. I think one is called The War of the Emerged World and then the other one is I don't know what. And it just all fell on my shoulder and that hurt. <sighs> I am struggling right now. <laughs> Last year I started and finished The Witcher series by Andrzej Sapkowski. And another series I finished last year was The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Then I have a series where I just pulled out one of the random books as a stand-in because <laughs> I know that the series is here behind me, but I can't see where it is, so I just randomly pulled out a book hoping it's a book in the series. It was. But that series is the Mary Chantry series by Laurel K. Hamilton. I mean, the last book didn't feel like an ending to a series. However, it's been a while since that book came out and I don't think any more are planned, at least not in the near future. I have also finished the Nevernight trilogy by Jay Kristoff and as a very young child I read Narnia by C.S. Lewis. As I said, this, this is very chaotic. We're like going from fucking 16 year olds getting magical boob chops to Christians. <laughs> An old favorite that I reread this year was the Black Magicians trilogy by Trudy Canavan. You'll see another of her series later on in this video. And now let's talk about the many, many Cassie Clare books. First, of course, the Mortal Instruments. Then I have the Infernal Devices trilogy. And lastly, I have the Dark Artifices. From basic American YA fantasy, let's move on to African modern classics with the African trilogy by Chinua Achebe, which I read last year, I believe. Or did I split it over 2019 and 2020? I cannot quite remember anymore. With how many series Brendan Sanderson has, I always wonder why there's only one that he has actually finished, which I, of course, have finished as well, and that is Mistborn Era 1 by... Brandon Sanderson. Why am I saying Brandon Sanderson again? As a fantasy reader, last year I finally finished The Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien. Another fantasy trilogy I finished, of which one of them just slipped out of my reach when a tower of my books fell over, is the Traconis Memoriam series by Anthony Ryan. Two series left before we'll get into the series that I finished this year. First I have The Folk of the Air by Holly Black. And then here I have The Codex Alera by Jim Butcher. Now let's talk about the series that I started before 2021, but I finished in 2021, starting with the series that has probably been on my TBR for the longest, the Books of Pelennor series by Alison Crogan. I have The Chronicles of the Bitch Queen by K.S. Viloso, the first book, The Dragon, not The Dragon of Jinsei Yang, is the third book, uh, The Wolf of Oren Yaro, is currently with Scylla, so I don't have it here right now. I, of course, finally finished The Wheel of Time, and no, I'm not gonna hold up all 15 fucking books. You'll have to make do with just the first one. <laughs> I finished The Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin, the, I believe it's called Wrath and the Dawn duology by Renée Adier. 
I don't think this duology has any name. I think it's just the Wrath and the Dawn. Then I also finished, I guess, the Silence of the Girls duology. I don't know if this is officially a series, but The Women of Troy is a kind of sequel to The Silence of the Girls that you can't really read without having read The Silence of the Girls, so I'm gonna count it as a duology. I also finished the Traitor Spy trilogy by Trudy Canavan, which is the sequel trilogy to the Black Magicians trilogy. And now before we get into the series that I started and finished this year, I still have three trilogies left where the last book came out this year. First I have the Crown of Feathers trilogy by Nikki Pao Preto. I have The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chokshi and I have The Curse Breakers trilogy by Bridget Camera. And now there's four series left that, as I said, I started and finished this year. First, The Winter Night trilogy by Catherine Arden, which probably also was the first series that I started and finished this year because I had finished this by February already. I have the David Bad trilogy by S. A. Chakraborty, The First Law trilogy by Joe Abercrombie, by the way, if you have been wondering why I've been moving towards this side of the frame more and more since the video started, I put a lot of books right here and right now they're pushing me off the chair, so that is why. But luckily we only have one trilogy left and that is the Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. And with that we have all the series that I have on my shelves that are currently finished. As in my unfinished series video, I still want to mention that by the time you see this, this might have changed because I have two last books in trilogies on my TBR shelf right now and we'll see how fast I can get to them. But yeah, that was it. And so tell me in the comments down below how many finished series do you have on your shelves? Are you good or are you bad at finishing series? If you enjoyed this video, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and also maybe subscribing. All the links to my social media as well as to my book club of Queens, which is in Valkyries, where we read one adult high fantasy book written by a woman or genderqueer person per month will be left linked down below. And with all of that said, I hope I'll see you very soon. Bye!